He's Super Bowl champion quarterback for the New England Patriots. He's Stephon Gilmore. He's joining the Rich Eisen Show. And, and Stephon, ha has it sunk in yet just to hear your name, Super Bowl champion Stephon Gilmore? Yes, it sunk in. I think it really sunk in yesterday at the parade, you know, to seeing all the fans and celebrating and um, celebrating that we Super Bowl champs. Tell me about the parade, though, because, look, last year, 2017 season, you signed in free agency to New England, a heartbreak in terms of losing the Super Bowl, did not have that parade. Then all of a sudden, this year you win, and you're a part of that parade. So describe the feeling kind of throughout the parade yesterday. You know, it was a great feeling, you know, just seeing all the fans, you know, everyone happy. and You know, like you said, I didn't experience that last year. Came up a little short, but this year was a great feeling. Um, you know, it was a lot of fans there. I, it was more than what I expected. Um, I was expecting, you know, to drive probably two, two or three miles and see a couple of fans, but I never seen that many people in my life at one time, and it was it was a great feeling. Uh, what was the weather like? Because some guys decided to take their shirts off. I know you're a more reserved guy. You kept your shirt on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when you see guys with their shirt off, like, just describe just the feeling amongst the players, you guys on those floats and, and just accomplishing something that, you know, a lot of people throughout the season said they can't do it this season. Yeah, well, actually it wasn't that cold. It was probably 55 degrees. I mean, it wasn't Boston weather, but it was it wasn't as cold as it should be. But uh, it was a great feeling. Um, all the all the hard work we put in during the season, during the off season, you know, and accomplishing that one goal, and that's to win the Super Bowl. So we know what we've been through. We went through a lot of adversity, and we overcame it and kept believing in each other, and we were Super Bowl champion. He's Super Bowl champion cornerback of the New England Patriots, Stephon Gilmore. And on Twitter, at Bump and Run Gilmore. And I remember 2012, we were both teammates in Buffalo with the Buffalo Bills. And here's this kid they drafted in the first round from South Carolina, and he's wearing number 27. First of all, that number 27 used to look so stanky on you, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that number that 27? Number. <laughs> I hated that number. <laughs> I wanted 24, but Terrence McGee had it, so I had to respect that. <laughs> but now you, you switch over to number 24, and you think about your years in Buffalo, and then free agency comes. You go to, obviously, the New England Patriots. When you think about your football career so far, and you only just finished seven seasons, Kind of describe, you know, the feeling from going from where you're at in Buffalo, just trying to contend and never got to the playoffs to in two straight years now getting to the Super Bowl and then finally winning one. You know, you just never know how those things go, free agency and stuff like that. But, you know, Buffalo got drafted there. They gave me a great opportunity. And, you know, I loved it there my years, but we just didn't, you know, accomplish much there. But I was able to, you know, play for my teammates and, you know, had an opportunity to be a New England Patriot. And, you know, was able to go to, you know, two Super Bowls back to back and, you know, contribute as much as I can. You know, you, you just never know how it's going to go. But I'm happy that I'm in New England now and they gave me the opportunity to come here and, and help this team win. But when you when I, when I talked to you all week, it, it seemed like there was a calm about you last week during Super Bowl week that you guys just felt like, the Rams, and I know they came in scoring 30-plus points a game, but it just seemed like you guys had a confidence about the game plan going in that you could slow that offense down. You hold them to three points, Stefan. What was the biggest thing that you guys wanted to do defensively in order to stop the Rams? You know, I think we prepare well and we practice well, and, you know, the coaches came up with a great game plan, and we executed as best as we can. You know, it wasn't just one person. It was the whole team. The D line stopping the run, you know, getting pressure on the quarterback, the secondary playing tight coverage on the back end. So it all went hand in hand. But 424 remaining in the fourth quarter, the Rams are driving. They're trying to tie this thing up at 10 to 10. And yet you made the biggest play, I think the biggest play of Super Bowl 53, your interception of Jared Goff. Tell me what you saw uh, on that play and then kind of. To me, what happened after you? Why didn't you get up and try to make a play, go for a touchdown? <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest with you, you know, 
uh, we had a blitz called, and you know, then I knew the ball had to come out fast. And I kind of saw him looking at him the whole time. I saw the ball before, you know, the receiver could see it, so I was able to touch the ball quicker than him. And you know, they got a lot of pressure on the quarterback, and I just went up and made a great, a great play. And you know, I didn't want to, you know, do nothing crazy. I wanted to catch it and and get down, and you know, put the ball in the offensive hand. Five tackles, an interception, forced fumble, passes deflected. You did pretty much everything in that Super Bowl. And I remember after the game, the the kind of the mutual respect that I wish people get a chance to see was that Brandon Cooks was your teammate a year ago. And I know you guys had a lot of battles at practice. But what was said between you two after the game? Because you guys went at it and you kind of kept him in check. But there was a mutual respect between both of you guys. What was said after the game? Oh, man, he was, you know, he was very emotional. You know, me and Brandon, you know, we came in together last year in New England and we was best friends, you know, ever since, you know, and and just seeing him having a great year and me going against him in the Super Bowl, you know, he's a tough guy to cover. And after the game, I, I just told him that I love him and, you know, it was a great battle and he, he made it hard on me and, you know, it was just an emotional moment for him. And, you know, I just told him I love him and to keep his head up. And, you know, it's beyond football for, for me and him. We we best friends, and and I love him. And I told him I, I get up with him in the offseason. Super Bowl champion for the New England Patriots, Stephon Gilmore, joining the Rich Eisen show, Kirk Morrison, filling in for Rich. And, look, you had a chance to join – well, Jason McCourty had a chance to join that defensive secondary for the Patriots – I, the play in which I thought that honestly saved the game was Jason coming from his uh, third on the one side of the field, kind of a coverage breakdown on the other side, chasing down and knocking the ball out of Brandon Cooks' hands. What, what did you see on that play, and what did you guys talk about on the sideline after he broke up that big, huge, what could have been a huge play for the Rams? Uh, it was a great play by him. He, uh, you know, We talked about it. Earlier in the in the game, they kind of ran the same play. They didn't throw it, and um, you know he was ready. That's 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 why you go to the sideline and study, and and you know sometimes teams go back to the same thing. So you know he he made a great play for us, and you know that's what it takes to to win a game. You know one of the things that when you are now the Super Bowl champion, you're the first team all defense all pro in the NFL, where do you feel you stack up now in terms of cornerbacks in the league? Do you finally feel like you've gotten the recognition that you deserve as the top cornerback in the National Football League? I don't know, you know. Um, I feel like I am, but I don't like to say that. I just like other people to, you know, say it. But I believe in myself and my ability to help the team as best as I can. In any way I can, so I don't, I'm not really a you know talk about myself guy, but you know I just try to let my game do the talking and 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 do it that way, then do it the opposite way. Well, you don't have to say it because I'll say it for you. He's the best cornerback in the National Football League. He's Stephon Gilmore. And look, last question before I let you go, Stephon. I'm trying to put together a a, a movement or like a holiday. So what do you think about this, Stephon? April 16th, okay, the day after tax day, but April 16th, Bill Belichick's birthday, okay? Can we come up with a holiday called the National Hoodie Day where everyone wears cut-off hoodies around the world to be inspired by Bill Belichick? What do you say about that? Yeah, it's a great idea. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's just swag, so... <laughs> it's a good idea. <laughs> All right, man. Before I like, I gotta let you go on this one. So, what what do you do now? You're a Super Bowl champion. You're heading to the off season now. What's next for Stephon Gilmore? How do you come back and do it again? How does this team do it again? No, just enjoy. I'm just enjoying this, you know, this win right now, and you know, spend time with the family, and, you know, relax a little bit. It was a long season, so you know, and still work out, you know, and stay. Stay fit and stay right, but you know, just when that times come, it comes, and, and you get your mind ready and your body ready for that for that time. Just right now, I'm just enjoying my time off and and taking care of my body and doing as much as I can to get back. 
Hey, Stefan, appreciate the time as always, but you're still my rookie. So I'm just going to let you know that you're still my rookie. All right. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Hey, appreciate it. Best of luck as always, man, and congratulations. He's Stephon Gilmore, Super Bowl 53 champion of the New England Patriots. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.